Welcome back. For those of you who joined us last week, you were treated to an intriguing flip. Today, the suspense comes to an end as we open up the door to uncover what had been hidden away. If you missed the initial video, don't worry. Simply click the link to catch up before diving into this exciting reveal. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all our thrilling content. Upon opening the door, we discovered the entire basement was infested with mold. After confirming it was common mold and not the more harmful black mold, we did take precautions, making sure that we wore our masks and used bleach spray to eliminate existing mold and prevent new spores. This also allowed us to work safely until we could redo the basement by tearing down the walls. After further investigation, we did realize that the root of the mold issue was traced to the bunker below, um, which had been flooded with knee-high water. After draining it, we did locate the water source and our efforts shifted to patching it up. While draining the basement, we found a hole in one of the hoses and due to the basement leak, we had to move the hose to another side of the house and the combined length of the hoses was just not long enough. So we attempted to open a window and unfortunately this led to an accident in which my brother got hurt. <laughs> Instead of letting his pain go to waste, we did use the hole that was created just to allow us to drain the basement. As we all know, popcorn ceiling is so outdated, so of course we sanded the ceilings to give them that modern touch. And back to Home Depot we went, because what is a home renovation without going a hundred times? do most of our home renovations by ourselves but when it comes to plumbing and electricity we do make sure that we hire licensed professionals to tackle on those jobs I made sure to add a mildew blocker in the paint that we were using in the bathroom on the board because this board will be in a, a place that's going to constantly have moisture. For the bathrooms, I went in with a herringbone pattern. While they were doing the bathrooms, we made sure to continue doing demolition work and cleanup.
when picking out my grout colors, I like them to be as close to the tile as possible. I really don't like grout that stands out too much because I don't want it to be too harsh. Because the previous owner was a chain smoker, the wood was compromised. We had to do several rounds of cleaning, pressure washing, stripping, and making sure that we dried it in between each of those rounds so the wood would not warp. The one thing that we like to prioritize when working is cleaning. We love a safe job site every time. We wanted all the walls to be exactly the same and we realized in the center hallway that it was extremely wavy because the previous owners decided to put plaster on the wall. So we decided to take it off and underneath you will not believe what we saw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're curious to discover what unfolds next in our renovation journey and for upcoming episodes.